Hey guys, in this video we'll go over the IntelliCore salt cell. This is the component that will be producing the chlorine if you have a salt pool. The way this works is when you first turn the system on, it'll the red and green light, they'll flash back and forth. What it's doing is it's calibrating the salt level. It's trying to determine if it's high or low or good. Eventually, that will go to either a solid or flashing green or a red light. If it's solid, the salt level is good. If it's flashing, the salt level is high, but that's still fine, it's not an issue. If this red light turns red, it means the salt level is low. In that case, you'll need to add one bag of, 140 pound bag of salt just directly in your pool. You don't have to mix it up if you don't want to. It's not gonna harm your liner, just throw it directly in your pool. And then the next day, go back and check it again and just keep on doing that. After the initial dose, dosage at the beginning of the season, you're really only gonna have to add one, two, three, four bags a season. It, the only time salt leaves your pool is when you backwash, and backwashing is not that often, so you won't have to add much salt. All right, so now we just saw that it turned good. So that then turned on the cell light on because that whenever that cell light turns on, that means that this thing is actually producing chlorine. Your cell light may not always be on because it, this thing's not always producing chlorine. The way we got this set up is three solid means we're at 60%. These, these uh, if they're solid, it's the percentages on the bottom. If they're flashing, it's the percentages at the top. So let's go over that. So we got three, so that means it's 60%. If we cranked it down, now we're at 20%. If I do it again, we're gonna have all five of them flashing, meaning we're at 10%, and we can just keep on going down. So that is how you change the output of the salt cell. This thing can determine the salt levels, but it can't determine the chlorine levels. You have to manually check your pool's chlorine level, then adjust this as need be. Uh, when the, the system's going and flow is good, that light will turn on. If that light turns red, either your pump's not on or you need to backwash because your filter's so clogged that flow's not sufficient enough to power this up. Uh, the only other feature is cold light. When the water's below 59 degrees, that light will turn red. This thing cannot produce chlorine when the water's below 59 degrees. Also, when that light is red, this thing won't produce chlorine either. So that is the overview of the salt cell. If you have a remote, you cannot push these buttons to control it. You have to control it at the, the panel or the remote to control it at the panel. You come over here, you push menu. You go down to settings, select, IntelliClor, select, see, this pool is not enabled, so you have to control it at the actual salt cell, but if that was enabled, then you adjust the output right here. You scroll down to here by pushing select, and you change the output. But since this one doesn't have a remote, we disable this, so it's easier to control at the salt cell. All right, that's it, thanks.